Uh, hey everyone, so in my last video I did just the other day there, uh, I said I would do a little series of videos talking about different aspects of kindness and how, you know, kindness impacts us. In the last one I talked about the beneficial effects kindness has on mental health. One of the things that happens is the way that kindness feels generates kindness hormones in the brain. I call them kindness hormones. Uh, and, and the kindness hormone acts directly on a region of the brain that, that, is relate, that plays a big role in fear, worry, stress and anxiety. And it literally turns it down like a dimmer switch. So you can check that, that video out. And that's why uh, kindness, one of the reasons why kindness has such a positive impact on mental health. But what about physical health? Now, one of the really cool aspects is the way that kindness can slow the rate of biological aging. In a, in a real way, kindness is actually better than Botox. And I'll, I'll tell you why uh, in a sec. Now, one of the obvious reasons for this is, you know, it's well known that stress speeds up biological aging. Right, so anything that, that, that's opposite of stress would counteract the effect. Well, kindness hormones do pretty much the opposite of what stress hormones do. So, for example, when stress hormones uh, can have a negative impact on mental health, kindness hormones have a positive impact. Where stress hormones have a negative impact, you know, can increase blood pressure, kindness hormones can decrease blood pressure. Stress hormones can speed up aging, kindness hormones can slow down aging. But here's one of the really cool things that happens. Now, it's well known in science that intense meditation practices can slow aging. And scientists did this study where they, they got people to do an intense practice and they found that it slowed down the rate of loss of a little a end, a little cap on our DNA called a telomere. You know, it's just like, a, you know, those end caps you get on your shoelaces yeah, that, that for poking your shoelace through the wee, the wee loop whole thing. Uh, and they're called aglets, by the way. You know, I had to Google that because I talk about telomeres that so often. And I thought, I better find out what those shoelace uh, equivalents are. And they're called aglets. There you go, pop quiz question. What is the name of the plastic end cap on your shoelace? Uh, and it's called an aglet, A-G-L-E-T. So your DNA has aglets as well, but obviously scientists don't call them aglets. That's not very cool. They call them telomeres. But anyway, the rate of loss of telomeres, you know, just like aglets wear down over time, you know, the more you use them and push them through the wee loop, they gradually wear down and then it's useless. So aglets on our DNA, i.e. telomeres, also wear down over time, you know, from stress, strains, wear and tear, that kind of thing. And the rate that they that they wear down is is related to the rate of biological aging. So any process of slowing that down is an anti-aging uh, thing, so to speak. And scientists found that intense meditation practices produce a little substance that kind of compensates and kind of repairs the damage as it's happening, so kind of slows it down. Uh, but that's intense mindfulness practices. But get this, scientists found recently that if you do a kindfulness practices you practice, you can literally turbo boost. Now, I call them kindfulness practice. Any, any meditative practice that instead of focusing on your breath, instead focuses on kindness, focuses on, on the feeling and the sentiment of what kindness feels like. You know, you think of someone who you care about and all the reasons why you care about them. That would be a kindfulness practice. And what they found that when they, they compared, they measured the rate of telomere loss, of aglet, DNA aglet loss, telomere loss, from no practice at all over six weeks, and it was like about that much, say, relatively. And then they found uh, people who did mindfulness for six weeks, there's a wee bit of a slowing down, but not a lot, but a wee bit. But this is probably why it takes intense mindfulness practices to substantially slow it down. But get this, people who did kindfulness, there was no loss at all. Absolutely no loss of telomeres at all during that six weeks. Now, it might might be there's one of two things probably happening here. It might be that the kindness hormone that we generate somehow turbo boosts that repairing process. Or it might be that it's well known that kindness generates an anti-inflammatory effect. Now, I've talked about that before. I'll, I'll do another video on that, explain a wee bit more about how that works. But kindness generates an anti-inflammatory effect. And it might be that that anti-inflammatory effect somehow declutters the environment around the DNA because that cluttering around the DNA is partly responsible for the wearing down of things because it's, it can block 
the, the, the cell's natural regenerative processes, natural cellular repair, uh, restorative processes, they can be blocked by the clutter around the DNA. So it might be that this anti-inflammatory effect generated by how kindness feels somehow de helps to declutter that environment and therefore allows the cell's natural anti-aging, i.e. regenerative repair processes to actually do what they're supposed to do. But it doesn't really matter how it, it works, but the fact that it does work, and it's probably one of those two ways, but the bottom line is kindness uh, can slow the rate of loss of these telomeres and therefore it's slowing the rate of biological aging. Now I said that kindness is better than Botox. Now here's why. Botox isn't doesn't slow the rate of biological aging. Botox just disguises it. But kindness actually slows the rate of biological aging. It does it in all of your cells. So there you go. I've been practicing this for uh, 91 years. Uh, obviously, only kidding. But, but isn't that absolutely amazing? So kindness really does slow the rate of biological aging. And one of, the, one of the things that's happening is the kindness hormone either turbo boosts the natural uh, repair process of our telomeres, i.e. the DNA shoelace aglets, or it somehow generates an anti-inflammatory effect that cleans the environment around the DNA and allows the cellular repair processes to do what they're actually supposed to do. But it doesn't really matter how it works. But one of these two processes is probably responsible. But the bottom line is kindness really does slow the rate of biological aging. So I'll come back with another video and I'll share some other really cool facts of, how, of the different effects that kindness has. So wherever you are, Enjoy the rest of your day and be kind because it's almost always the right thing to do. Oh, and actually, before I forget, obviously this is a impacts the aging process. It's not why you be kind. You be kind because it's the right thing to do. The, the, the effect on aging is a side effect. I call them side effects. You know, I used to work as an R&D scientist with AstraZeneca, actually, who made one of the, the, the vaccines for coronavirus. I left, you know, several years ago. But... Um, but side effects used to be the negative side effect of a drug. But a side effect really is anything that happens alongside the thing that you're doing. So it ha so happens to be uh, that when you be kind, one of the side effects, i.e. things that happen alongside it, is it just so happens that it slows the rate of biological aging. It's almost as if nature is saying, yes, more of this, please. It's like nature is rewarding you for being kind. Nature says, yes, more of this please. So anyway, there you go, enough uh, of me from for today. Wherever you are, enjoy the rest of your day.